everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Join me in making what I'm calling the Anytime Necklace. The cool thing is this is a design that's a very basic stitch that you can work with an array of different beads. I made it in a ton of different crystal colors so that way you could wear it for any occasion. If you need any materials, just grab some three, four, five, six millimeter, 15 11 0 seed beads. It doesn't really matter what, but we listed some of the materials that I used in this video to show this particular design in the beginning. Also keep in mind, there's links below the video to the Anytime to get your seed beads as well as your crystals if you wanna make a design similar to mine. So this video, like I said, is very much a technique video. It's so simple, so easy. I was looking to come up with a cute design that I could wear to everything. So I wanted to show you this technique as I'm building this anytime necklace. And this is an anytime and anywhere kind of a necklace. Now you're coming out of the bead here and I'm gonna show you how to actually be coming out of the bead and continue on and start. And then I'll show you the easy way that you get started. But I figured it's easiest to show exactly how to kind of continue on the chain. You're coming out of one of the 15-0 beads, which I'll go over how we get there. And what I'm gonna do is put on in my series of beads, one more 15. I have a size 12 needle on here. And you can see it's a little wonky because I've already made 30 inches of this necklace. And I'm gonna add one of my crystals three more seed beads, another one of my crystals, and I'm using four millimeter bicones here. You're gonna end up using three of your bicone, or four of your bicones separated out by three seed beads. You can pre-put out the colors of bicones, any color work, you can actually change up the size for this too. If you don't have four millimeter bicones and you wanna use a different size, you can use a different size as well. The only thing that's going to change in that is going to be the amount of seed beads between each. You could also do this as a series of five beads rather than four and kind of diverging from that kind of cube or that diamond look. Once you have on your four beads, and remember we started out with one 15, then a four millimeter crystal, three seed beads, crystal, three, crystal, three, crystal, and I'm gonna do one more of my 15s. I wanna go back into this 15 OCB that sits on the end, but instead I wanna make sure that I'm going into the opposite side that the thread is coming out of. So the thread in this version here is coming out the top. I'm going to go into the bottom. That's gonna create my bigger exterior loop. And you can see when I do that, I still have three seed beads then between those two aqua crystals. From here, you're gonna go back through that aqua crystal but by first going through that 15 that sits before it. Coming out that aqua crystal then, and this is the aqua AB color, you're gonna add one of your 15, and this is Duracoat Champagne in the Miyuki brand. Go through one of the crystals that's already there. Add another 15. Go through the next crystal. And we're gonna do this four times. And you can see right away as I pull that, it forces those three other crystals out towards the exterior and makes it look like we have a little cube or a little diamond of seed beads in there. Add one more 15. And then pull. And then again, one more 15 to finish out my design. When I add that last 15, I'm gonna go through that four millimeter bicone that the thread was originally coming out of. And that then creates the ending of that nice cube. So you can see those seed beads get nice and decorated around the exterior of those four beads. To get to the end then, and to be able to link it on the diamond, I'm gonna go through that 15-0 that I just added. Then I'm also going to go through the next four millimeter crystal. And then as you go through the four millimeter crystal, as you're going through it if you want, you can go through the first two 15s that sit opposite of the other side there. Remember we added three groupings of three, one, two, and three. And we're going to that second grouping out through that second 15 out. From there, you can join directly to. What I decided to do was use a rondelle in the two by three millimeter, and I used a nice neutral color, that transparent gray. Put on a two by three millimeter rondelle, and a 15-0 seed bead. From here, let them drop down next to those seed beads there. Go back through the rondelle. So I'm not going through that 15-0, that's just gonna hang out on the side there. 
go back through the rondelle, and at the same time, go back through that second 15-0, going into the opposite side of the thread. So the thread's coming out at the bottom of that 15, crystal 15 get added, back through the crystal, and back through that 15 through the top. That's gonna pull that 15 down to hold it onto that crystal, and then it sits right on top of the design. Go ahead and go back through that crystal then, so that you're going towards your spot where you're gonna be progressing. And then sew through that 15-0 that's already there, going in from the bottom and sewing up towards the top. From here then, we repeat the design. One 15 goes on, followed by four crystals, and this time I'm picking up the Montana color. And again, these are four millimeter bicones, three seed beads, another crystal, and I should have straightened out my needle. You can go in if your needle gets this kind of bent up. You can go in and actually straighten it out um, with a pliers uh, as you go. I'm gonna go in here, and remember we're adding four crystals total. We're gonna be adding three sets of three seed beads. And then before and after those, we're just adding 115. The reason we're adding 115 is because we're gonna catch on to the 15 that's already there. So again, we have our four four millimeter beads on. We put on a 15 and then our bead, three seed beads, bead, three seed beads, bead, three seed beads, bead, and then one more 15. Coming to that other side then, the thread is coming out of the one size of that 15-0, the one side rather, out the top. We're gonna go into the bottom of that 15. And I'm gonna flip it here so it's easier for me getting in kind of nice and close to be able to see going through that opposite side. The reason you want to go through the opposite side is because you want that seed bead to sit nice and straight so that way when you're working with it um, you don't see a lot of extra thread at that connection point. Coming out through then I want you to go through the 15 next and the four millimeter crystal that's next and now we go in and create that nice point by adding just one 15 in between each one of our crystals. So 115 gets added, so into the next crystal. 115 gets added, so into the next crystal. If you prefer, you can actually do this um, one set first and then do the three sets. The second go round, it's up to you. But that's going to create that nice little pointed edge as we go in and do this four times. When you get back towards the beginning or that connection point, same thing. Just add one more bead, go through that first four millimeter crystal. And you can see I used an array of crystals and an array of colors. A lot of you might have like random crystals where you only have a couple. You may have gotten them from our grab bags or you used a bunch in a design and you have some extras. This is perfect for that. You can do it with rondelles too, in addition to the bicones. The bicones look pretty because they create that nice boxing effect. After going through the last crystal, go through the 15 and then the next crystal as well as through the first two seed beads that sit in that grouping of three. Showing the connection point one more time, add that two by three millimeter rondelle, one of your 15 -0 seed beads, go back into the rondelle, and then into that uh, second 11, 15 -0 seed bead into the opposite side. So making sure that the thread is coming out one side, you're going into the other side. And that's again just to make sure that it all sits nicely. I ended up making and doing this necklace to be about 32 inches. That way I can wear it doubled on my neck as a um, 16 inch, two 16 inch strand, or I can wear it long at that opera length, so that 32 inches. From here I'm going into that 15-0 that's at the top after coming back through the crystal, and then continuing on my design. When I get to the end of the design, you can either finish right with the end of the crystal, or you can add a wire guard. You're gonna add your clasp, and I have a clasp, bear, clasp guard in here, just a nice um, kind of ridged, rounded clasp. That way, if you do see it in the design, it is called, what's it called? The um, rounded swirl, it's a seven millimeter bead. I'm gonna go back through that same 15 L, connecting on to my clasp. I'm just gonna sew right onto the clasp. Like I said, if you want to, you can use a wire guard. 
I'm going in then, just like if I was adding this bead again, going back through that 15-0, coming in from the opposite side, going back through the crystal, back through that 15-0 that sits on the opposite side, back through the clasp, and then I'm gonna sew down into the project a little bit. The other side, which just had a stop bead on it, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, adding the other side of my clasp. And remember, this is big enough, I can actually put it over my head, but if I do want to wear it as a double strand, it's nice to have the clasp on because then I have that option. And if I need to there, grab my pliers to kind of pull through. So I showed how you would add right away from the chain. When you're getting started, and you don't have any on first, all you're gonna do is add the three seed beads right away. So you don't even have to think about anything as far as one seed bead. You're just doing three seed beads and then crystal, three seed beads, crystal, three, crystal, three, crystal. Going back in then and adding in one and starting your first connection point. Super easy, super, super, super fun to make. And like I said, I did it in so many fun colors as I was working. This kind of became a labor of love. And the reason I'm calling it the Anytime Necklace is because if you use a nice variety of colors, you could do this as a Mother's Day necklace. You could do it all in crystal so you can wear it with everything. Black so you can wear it with anything. Um, I did multicolors so that way we can kind of wear it festive for this time of the year. Going back then to the other side, if you did get started, you're just gonna take your stop bead off if you had one of those on. I'm gonna take my thread and needle out to the end here, put on one more crystal and attach to the other side. So it's a really, really simple technique. It could be done into earrings, it could be done into um, a bracelet, a wrap bracelet, but have fun making this anytime necklace. And again, just get started with a stop bead, go in and do your first loop. You can connect them right to one another and completely skip that crystal as well, spread them out more. Really have fun, make it bigger, make it smaller. Simple design, a little bit of a right angle weave technique uh, that you can make into your own and really make a cool, really, 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 I'll stress that, really, really easy design. This is a great one too if you wanna get some new people into uh, bead weaving, sit down with them and do this design. They'll be happy kind of as they go. If you do not wanna use 15s, you can also use 11 O's and you'll get that same effect, the same exact effect with the 11 O's. It'll just be a little bit thicker and a little bit less delicate looking along the chain. Thanks so much for watching the Anytime Necklace. Remember, you really can use anything to do this necklace. Have fun learning the technique and the design, and then let us know in the comments below what you did it with. Did you do it with pearls, crystals, 11 O's, 15 O's, 8 O seed beads? Have fun creating this design. Again, if you need any materials, we're happy to ship to you from potomacbeads.com or potomacbeads.eu. Remember, too, you can join us on Facebook and Instagram and all the great social media outlets, including our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. It's a wonderful interactive group where you can get design ideas, show off your talent, as well as get inspired by the amazing things that people do. Thanks so much for watching this Anytime Necklace and have fun creating and making it your own.